Top five, top five, top five. So the topic of background of the video, I'm Strange Wayne, he's Nate. Today, continuing our top five actresses list, we are doing Charlize Theron. Check out Emma Stone, Eye in the Corner. But how does our top fives work? So one of us will do their five and four. The other person will give their five and four, three, two, three, two, and then we'll trade off number ones. We also have something we call the Zemeckis rule, which just means if we both have the same movie on our list, but one person has it two spots or higher on their list, when they hear the movie get called out, they will say Zemeckis, which means we'll save the conversation until we get to it on the person who has it higher his list. My number five is Prometheus. This character, you just want to just want to hit him, you know? It's just like, they're so unlikable in this movie. She's so unlikable in this movie, and I don't advocate violence or hitting women, so let that be known. But she she's very uh, dashardly in this movie, you know? You don't like her. And for someone, I like her in all these other films, and all these other films, like, I understand them. In this movie, I just, I don't want to. Because mm -hmm. they're, like, ugh. But number five for me is Long Shot. You mean number four? Four, yes, number four. That's Long my shot. number four. That movie, I I do not like Seth Rogen. Yeah. I'm not saying I want to slap him, but I, I, I despise him. But I could slap Seth Rogen. I don't advocate violence. The Long Shot, I believe she could be president. Yeah. She's so professional in this she, movie. She's very, And yeah. very likable. And you understand the stress she's under. And, like, you deserve that day off. You deserve to get fucked up and go to a nightclub and yeah. then get... Like, what's going on? Yeah. Like, you deserve to have fun because you're under all this stress. So, I love her in this movie. Yeah. And I she makes too. Seth Rogen, like, I don't know, I can't get words today. Somewhat tolerable. Yeah, tolerable. Yeah. So, I, I probably should put her at number two for or number one for that reason. But yeah. she's in so many good movies. So my number five is, it is not the movie Long Shot because that's number four, but it is a Long Shot. Uh, it's actually Aeon Flux. So, like, it's this, like, sci-fi based on... No, it's, but it's based on a video game, or it's, a video game is based on it. One or the other. It's just this, like, sci-fi action movie. But, like... It's, 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 it came out, like, 2004? Something like that. Black. It's not good. Oh, that's a garbage, bro. Yeah, it's not a good film. I was just a kid. It's not a good film. I got that from Blockbuster, and it sucked. But, like... I love those just off-the-beaten-wall little sci-fi action films like that. And I saw it when I was that age, and I'm like, I was in love. But uh, I acknowledge that it's not a good film. Like, I want to make it very clear. I'm not advocating for that. But Charlize Theron doesn't do a ton of action films, right? So, like... It's debatable! Uh, to do something like that and, like, get down the choreography and all that stuff, it takes some level of skill. And things like that. And it's just, it's literally, it just sticks out to me in her filmography because it is just so, like, literally the closest thing is another a movie that we'll probably come to later on our list. And, like, other than that one film, I can't think of anything that she's done like it. And I love Fast that. and Furious movies are action movies. Atomic <laughs> Blonde's an action movie. Okay, Atomic Blonde's a good one, which I'm, is not on my list. Is it only, I don't think it's probably. No, all right. I don't like that movie. And, like, but that's literally probably the closest thing to compare it to. Fast and Furious films are action movies, but it's like not that kind of action movie. You she know? does have scenes, fight scenes in it. I know she has fight scenes in it. Look, my, I'm trying to praise the woman now, and you're giving like, look, she's a, she's a strong, independent woman. She fights in a lot of movies, Nate. <laughs> it's an off the beaten path film. I loved it when I was younger, and like getting to watch all of her other movies that I've seen since then has just grown my affection for her performance in it. And then my number four was Long Shot. My number three is. Tully, have you seen this movie? I have not. You really need to see this movie. Yeah. Like, close your ears real quick. I don't want you to hear what I'm about to say. It's okay. Just go. For it. All right. I'll forget Tully it. Tully is Fight Club for Moms. Huh. That's all I'm going to say because you don't have your ears and you're intrigued because you gave me a, oh. My number two is probably your number one and number two. It's a Mad Max Fury Road. It's my number two. Fariosa. Great stuff, you know? Like, yeah. Yes. Like we said for a movie that was on the last list of Emma Stone's top five, mm -hmm. when everything, when her performance is an A+, plus, but everything else in the film is an A+, plus, your investment in the film goes up higher. Yeah. So even though there is so much other stuff in this movie, this strong female lead being, I would say, the most rememberable thing about the film, or second most rememberable, because mm -hmm. like, 
the way it was shot, it gets praised all the time. So that yeah. might be some people's first thing they think of. But for me, she's my number one when I think of this movie. Cause yeah, me too. She owns this movie. Mm-hmm. Tom Hardy's Mad Max. His name's on the film. <laughs> it shouldn't be. It should be Furiosa, Fury Road. Well, we're getting one of those. Well, good, because she deserves it. And the action scenes, the... So, like, most action stars can give you phenomenal action scenes. Mm-hmm. But they don't make you believe in the character like you do this. Like, yeah. you look at something like Schwarzenegger. I'm, I'm invested in him because he's cool and kicking ass. I invested for her because I want her to get to the promise line. You know yeah, what I'm saying? right. I need her to get the point A to point B. Yeah. I'm so invested in this character because of their emotions. Mm-hmm. And for an action movie to have that is spectacular. Yeah. And, like, they do all of that and still nail all the action. Most definitely. You know? So, I agree with everything that you said. She's 100% the brightest spot. And, and this is a phenomenal film. I mean, and I've talked about this in other things before. I think this is going to go down as one of the best, easily one of the best films of the decade. Clearly! <laughs> no debate! My number three is Bombshell. So, I, seen it. I, I have really conflicting feelings about this movie because... It is about a group of women like standing up against a, a sexual harassing boss, but I also just have strong opinions about those specific women's political beliefs. But I also think that it shouldn't really matter what someone's beliefs are because sexual harassment is a fucking god awful thing, and screw anybody who does that. Facts. She one hundred percent disappear and dissolves in her role as a. I think it's Lauren Kelly. But I'll check it out. Yeah. Because I believe in, like, sexual harassment, and, like, I'm against that. But okay. Thank you for adding the... Because <laughs> you just said, I believe in sexual harassment. Yeah, it's a real thing. Yeah. That's what I was Oh, to okay. Say. All right. That makes more sense. Like, but... You yeah. are acknowledging its existence. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I don't believe in politics. I don't even think I know how to spell politics, <laughs> but... Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Huh? My number one is Monster. Mine, too. Where, unlike Fury Road, yeah, everything else in that film is kind of like a C, a B, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they're not all in her caliber of right. acting. Yeah. And she gets lost in the role, among other things. Yeah. But I sympathize with this character. Sure. As I said, I think it was my number, my number five. I was like, yeah, for me to hate her so much, mm-hmm. and then this role, to sympathize her so much, like, I feel bad for her. Yeah. Two wrongs don't make a right. And Little Wayne said, two wrongs don't make a right, three rights make a left. What? I feel bad for this girl. Yeah. She shouldn't have went through that. So. Yeah, for sure. So the reason I switched mine was I definitely like Fury Road more as a film. But yeah, this is about Charlene, Charlize Theron's performance. Yes. Yeah. And she, you know, you, you've said this, you said on a list, you said on this list, when your performance is A+, plus and everything else in the film is A+, plus, it makes you like the film more. Yeah. Well, when your performance is A+, plus and everything else in the film is like C plus B, yeah. then you look amazing. Yeah. And like she went through the like she went through the transformation to, to look right for the role. She completely invested in it and dove into it. Like sometimes she plays just kind of the prettier badass in films and stuff like this. And this time she just she played the real life person that she was portraying and she mm, nailed that's it. Not the prettiest. No, but not that has anything to do with it. But yeah, you you go you look at a picture of her in Monster and a picture of her in that like AI science fiction whatever movie it was. Yeah. Wow. Like this video. Comment on the video, share the video, and subscribe.